Christoph, thank you for being here and thank you for what you contribute to the city and to its culture. First of all, I want to ask, how did you get into music and what's your background? Uh, my background is civil engineer architect. Uh, because you're really creative species and uh, any anything where you uh, can have artistic expression makes you happier and uh, music was always there from when I was like a really, really little kid mostly composing it because in, in the music education it's, it's it used to be really strict you only could play what was on the paper so in, in the freedom of, of expressing and, and creating music one leads to another and then you you like oh you're like you you miss a loved one that you love so much and you want to write a CD with all this uh, this the sad songs and everything to do. It's like long ago. Now I make really happy songs. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, that's that's the way I, I, I connect with musicians. And uh, m mostly, I saw that that musicians have a bit of problem um, getting getting themselves promoted because every musician group needs a booking a manager uh, and and that's why uh, when I when I bought the building of Shanti, it was first meant to be. Um, a collective home for like seven gang makers out of Nest that could uh, work together in, in having a shop and everybody had a separate day in the week, like fixed day, like like a market, but then shelter. But then when a girl came to my door and asked to make a cafe for her, like thought that seemed cooler because then I could play piano. And that's how the Shanti came to be. And um, and now it's getting more and in the direction of um, giving musicians um, a platform to expose their work. Right? So we record. Uh, one group every Friday and we're recording it like with multicam and high quality audio and then in the future we want to put it in a loop in a television station Shanti.tv and also integrate it in a collective booking uh, site where the, um, where the music and the quality of the music is determined by the visitors so that there's no pushing with the elbows and like all organic music can like uh, organically surface because uh, I read somewhere we have 600 music groups in Ghent and the neighborhood that's a lot. But yeah, we have a lot of small music groups. <laughs> that's a lot. And do you feel like Ghent has always given artists opportunities, or did it evolve that way? Ghent is truly an artist city. Um, I think it's, it's the most artistic city in the world. Uh, traveling around a lot, there was only one city I found, Mindelo in Cape of Verde, that had the same spirit as Ghent. Uh, we also proposed Ghent to work together with, with Mindelo as a, like an exchange project. And um, yeah, the, the, the DNA of the Ghentian people and uh, their creativity, nobody really likes to work hard in Ghent. We are good in making solutions and talking and, and creative ideas all the time. So I was truly an artist city, especially around St. Jacob's, it's like an artistic hub. Like if you talk to somebody in the street, you have like a 98% chance they're going to be a musician. <laughs> And uh, you're always welcome for, uh, so uh, new artists are always welcome in Shanti from all kinds of backgrounds and languages, or is it? Yeah, exactly. Shanti is, is a music cafe. It's built around the central stage that is, uh, um, it's a beautiful stage to be on because like in the middle of people, like in an MTV and Plug, you look to the left or to the right, you're in the middle of everything. And every Friday, uh, we're open only one day in a week. Every Friday we record a live band at nine. And after Afterwards, it's always an open jump, so all musicians are invited to come and connect because that's what you do in an open jump, right? But now we can go live. When the jump is really good, we can just press the live button, then the, the on air sign go on, and we can, if there's something beautiful created, we can like save it straight. But uh, in the week, as a yoga center, which also draws in really nice people, we have the website yoga.gent, and we're actively looking for teachers, uh, independent teachers that can teach with us, and then we share the, the income, and we have the booking system system and the advertisement so anybody that wants to give yoga lessons uh, is really welcome to join us we're a young team with all really amazing people uh, everybody that's in our team will also uh, be invited to join our Burning Man camp and going over in Spain so it's like in, in, in giving yoga lessons you become part of the creative society around the Shanties eh? so um, yeah now in, in the week it's a yoga center and only on Friday and Saturday it's Shanti so it's yoga.gen from Sunday till Thursday and Shanti is Friday and Saturday and Friday is live recording
recording with the open jam and on Sunday it's uh, uh, Saturday it's available for bookings and that's a system that's livable for the neighborhood so that we can finally after five years find some balance that the city doesn't close it us down always because they need to close us down because of complaints of the neighborhood but uh, it's not the fault of the city it's not the fault of the neighborhood it's just fault of all these things coming together and now we found this balance Friday is a party that's okay for people so now it's sustainable and on the long term so I'm happy after this whole roller coaster of, of Shanti uh, community with collective stories living upstairs and uh, that we finally can can have like a sustainable solution long term and to build a television channel for our musicians that's a nice golden weekend it's um, in this climate where artists are pushed to be individual and on their own how important is making a community for you Yes, but it should be like that all the time. Um, my my dream was like that we instead of having all these music groups who are really isolated, that we could ma more make like um, like a collective of musicians, like continuously uh, changing the. Uh, changing the, the combination of people in the group and uh, having this easy feedback like yeah we quickly need another guitarist like and, and so we, we, are, we connect them all together we really feel for musicians in Ghent that there's a need for that like after uh, even after Peter from Bordeaux played with this like he, he stayed there all, all evening all night to to play with everybody and so yeah it's surprising one day we had a really weird guy from Russia coming in and he wanted he wanted to make like music not from not from paper and he just put like eight musicians together and I thought it was like a group but he was like dressed as a bird and acting really weirdly and we had to like everybody had to be really uh, expressive and inventive and yeah um, the joy of putting musicians together is, is where the magic is created. Uh, not straight for songs, but like as an inspiration that you take home. Because when you would be born in a black box and have an instrument, you wouldn't make a lot of things. It's like our brain is like this free associative model. So the more music we hear, the more we interact with music, interact with people, the more it challenges us and that causes creativity. So I, th I think putting all the musicians together in, in an open jam that they get a lot of inspiration and improve themselves. And what's in the future right now this year for Shanti? Uh, this year for Shanti in the future, yeah, uh, uh, building the yoga in, in like a big community with a lot of people interacting. We also have massages, we have cacao circles, women circles, uh, we'll do men circles as well for people that feel, that feel like distressed eh, because uh, whenever we are in pain or distressed, what we really need is uh, the shelter of people around us, yeah, like on your own, you're not going to make it. Uh, if we run alone in the forest, we will, we will die. Right? So we need each other. So uh, the, build, the community building around yoga and spirituality and around music is what we're busy with. Uh, so what's in the future for Shanti? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I look forward to um, July, uh, where we're going to take all the Shantis and any musician that's really interested to the desert in, in making a Burning Man camp. And I really would like this year to, to take my city, uh, to take Kent with me as artistic expression, as also um, in, in, in installations, in, in art, uh, that we can really put ourselves on the map. Look, this is the camp of Ghent. The camp is called Waves of Music, as music comes in waves and is waves and everything is waves. Is there already a way to get um, subscribe to it or like to be in contact with the people that do it? Yeah, you just come to the Shanti at Fridays and there we all connect together. On top of the Shanti there's our offices from Collective Stories. Uh, you know Collective Stories, uh, they're yeah. active. Yeah. They also have the Wishman in which they learn uh, people to fulfill other people's wishes. So you're welcome every Friday to, to join us in, in this roadmap and in, in going to the desert in building a community of artists and musicians together and in creating um, the, the, a new Gentian MTV channel with unplugged performances and also in between performances on, on the channel would be nice to have like um, graphical work or video work from every creative uh, person in Ghent that we can truly make our own channel. And then we go to Telnet and Dalka come and say, hey man, we're full of musicians, you have to put this in the, in the Zender and How do you um, combine your lifestyle and your ambitions with your love life and your personal life? Well, 
because it's community based, it is my personal life. I feel I am Shanti, and they call me Papa Shanti and Shanti. Okay? So, uh, like all the members of community, we have like really good personal relations, everybody's background. A lot of people came to us in distress and they arrive in my house, they, they stay over, and we built really like a cozy nest. Okay? So, there is no uh, difference between work life and private life. It perfectly aligns. I'm really in love with Shanti as a concept. Shanti means inner peace, uh, which is what a lot of people are missing. Because if you put like in a construct of, uh, of the individualistic approach of life, uh, it's really stressy because the society is not really aligned with our collective roots as a species. Because capitalism individualizes us, because individualized uh, people will have economically more significant. Because when people live alone, they need more than when they live in communities. For, for inner peace, we need to be uh, more community based, eh? more uh, aligned with what others want. Because the meaning of life is truly the life of others, it's not your own life. When you would live alone uh, on the planet, you wouldn't enjoy yourself at all. What inspired you to move towards that? What did you see or experience? Yeah, I have a, 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 a bit of financial background also with with stocks and, and things like that and, and I saw like the the, the true capitalism doesn't make people happy. When you earn more money, you will, will not be more happy, per definition, of course, when you don't have anything. Capitalism is, is a nice thing for people that have capital, but people don't have anything. It's a stress thing to live in. Eh? It's, a, it's the same for a car without grass. Um, but, but yeah, and, and starting to travel and traveling to India, and seeing that in a lot of countries people smile a lot more, like in Kenya, like everywhere you go, it seems like people are crazy happy. You go in Belgium, like, and it's man, because like, fuck man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a hard society, it's a beautiful society, but for a lot of people it's a struggle. And I think it all came together in, in like uh, wanting to build more like something community based. When, I, when, when Ian came to our Burning Man camp and we connected, and, and I knew that he was doing the Wishman, uh, in which he like focused on learning people how to be observant and how to get the intention of fulfilling other people's wishes that's really key you know that they don't uh, one, one day they did like a question to 40,000 people truly really makes you happy and in all different countries what came up was question number one answer number one was like helping others so that's really what's what's the meaning of life about eh? so that's why I really support Ian and what he's doing I think he's one of the greatest guys that we have in our city uh, and like he's so he has like a million ideas at the same time uh, but the wish man events men's that be something truly truly great um, I'm loving it. The latest question is, did the people around you always motivate you to do what you're doing or did you feel some resistance? It's an interesting graph. You will always feel resistance. Arnold Schwarzenegger calls it the naysayers. Eh? Most of people resist change. We're animals of habit. Eh? So anything you want to do that's like a, a bit not what, what is normal, you will always feel resistance. And in 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 dealing with it, when when you want to manifest like different things, you just need to inform people a lot. It's the same when you're like building a building. Eh? You need to you need to have feedback and support what you, and 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 have like um, communication about what's going to happen, what you're going to do, and then people change because. First, there's resistance, but it, does, it just means that you're not bringing the message the right way. Eh? You're bringing it too strict. You have to find different ways. People are not so resistant as they seem. Like they're truly flexible. Okay, so they they have to feel like your suggestion doesn't go in against what they believe in. No, I, I mean. When you have two people talking with each other, you have two different worlds. Eh? And you've been on your process for a long time when you have a certain vision or ID. So you want to like share this ID in press. Eh? But when somebody would have done it to you 20 years ago, you would also have, what is this? You know, you, you, you slowly, gradually floated in it. So when, when you want to change how people look at the subject, you don't need to do it in one day. You just like drop by drop, like tiny little pieces. So, because if, if it's if it's too much of a change for the perception of how they see the world, it's going to block eventually. So gently, like gentle push, but a long push, not like uh, yeah. a big push. Yeah.
massage it in a little bit. <laughs> I'll see the plans, 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 the